briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The U.S. Supreme Court grappled with a distinct legal conundrum in 1941, Railroad Commission v. Pullman Company, which centered on a thorny question. If state law upheld the order imposed by the Railroad Commission, then would it even be necessary to entertain whether the order infringed on the Constitution? The plaintiff, the Pullman Company, along with other involved railroads, brought forth the suit to challenge an order by the Texas Railroad Commission. This mandate required Pullman sleeping cars in the state to be under the continuous watch of a Pullman conductor. In a twist, Pullman porters interjected in the legal contest, claiming racial discrimination against African Americans under the 14th Amendment. Initially, the federal court sided against the commission's mandate, granting an injunction. They claimed the order was yet a projection of Texas law, not a definitive interpretation. This injunction seemed to undermine the commission's power, suggesting an overreaching intervention into states' rights. The Supreme Court instead deferred that in this dispute, the ultimate authority rested with the Texas Supreme Court. The justices indicated that resolving the Texas Railroad Commission's statutory authority could preempt the need for a broader, more contentious constitutional review. Consequently, the Supreme Court remanded the case to the lower court and advised it to pause on any decision-making until the state court had offered its interpretation of the commission's authority under state law. By promoting such a judicious course, the Supreme Court's decision showed its respect for state jurisdictions and designed a path to stave off premature constitutional arbitration in an already complex legal landscape. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.